All right, back on Morning Line, shifting gears. Oh, this is no longer the representative, is it? We've, we're playing <laughs> musical chairs here this morning. Uh, Andrea Arnold's with us. She is Senior VP, Public Affairs, National Convention and Visitors Corporation. And I appreciate you coming on. Thank There's you. a job fair. We talked about this before. This is the fourth job fair you're having. Is it, did, I say, did I read that's, that right? That's correct. Look, right now is the time. It's, it's a job seekers market, isn't it? That's exactly right. And we have so many wonderful types of positions in this industry. Hotels, restaurants, venues, attractions, and more is what we're talking about. It's for the hospitality industry. Absolutely, which touches really anything that touches a visitor. Uh -huh, so you think right. about from the airport on into all areas of town where visitors go, mm -hmm. they seek all kinds of um, experiences. So we're, like you said, restaurants, attractions, venues, and all the things that go into putting on that experience. Event planning, the financial piece on the back, and any kind of job you can think of, there's probably a job for you in the hospitality industry. So I'll tell you, I mean, I don't get downtown as much as I used to. I was down this past week for some of the, the back basketball tournament and I am blown away <laughs> by the crowds and I, even on a Wednesday night right. at six o'clock and I can imagine on the weekends and I've been down here how insane it gets always downtown it is mobbed and I, yeah. and that's great economically but I think about the merchants down there mm -hmm. and having all the hostess the the the, the, the restaurant uh, you know waiters the staff the dishwashers all I, a lot of them are struggling to find employees, aren't they? I mean, it's that hard right now because the competition yep. for good help is out there. Well, and there seems to be new employ uh, new jobs opening daily. Exactly. New all these new restaurants daily. open. That's and right. we hear a few restaurants once in a while closing. Far more are opening. Oh, far more. Hundreds are opening. Yeah. And they're really unique original concepts, which are great. And they're local owners that take really great care of their employees. So you truly mm -hmm. can make a very, very good living. Um, and we have a lot of different types of jobs. Everything from entry level, if you're just looking for something to start out up to career positions where you're looking to make a change um, but it, there's truly something for everyone and you mentioned downtown and there certainly is a volume of jobs downtown I guess in that so area. we're not just downtown alone we're talking about we're talking All about over. throughout Nashville okay throughout I'm sorry no, you go no, ahead. no that's fine oh, but you know yeah. your visitors love and they love to come to downtown and enjoy that entertainment core we have then they love to explore the city and they don't know city or county lines anything around the middle Tennessee area they're going out and looking at Arrington Vineyards they're mm -hmm. going um, for the youth sports up in Sumner County they're right. looking all over so uh, there's tons of jobs all around the region really um, that are serving our visitors yeah I was just looking at the list here on the second page I hadn't looked at maybe you have Nashville Shores if you want to go work at like Absolutely. water park the Nashville Zoo yeah. you know Old Smoky Distillery okay and then a lot of these <laughs> hotels um, you can get into it's not just you know being a bellboy or whatever along those lines I mean you can start there, but a lot of folks, if you end up getting into management at, you know, mm -hmm. any of these sales hotels, in particular, sales in particular, you can do quite, mm -hmm. would you say in general from dishwashers on up that um, the salaries or the hourly wages have gone up and people might be surprised at what they can make doing some of these jobs? Absolutely. Absolutely. They've gone up and remember the, you know, competition is always great for employees. Well, sure. Um, and so that volume of jobs that are opening is, is causing an effect on some of the salaries being offered. And a lot of the those jobs in particular, they're with major corporations. So mm -hmm. you get in at the entry level and you're going to rise uh, pretty fast in that corporation and you're going to be trained on site. And so they're investing a lot in their employees within that so corporation. they're going to want to keep you. They're going to want to keep you. You have opportunities to move around. A um, lot of opportunities for growth. So these are really great jobs. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, even if you're just starting anew, you can rise up pretty fast. We've had a lot of people who take one of those seasonal jobs. Let's say a teacher, for mm -hmm. instance, take mm -hmm. one in the summer and find out how much money they can make and they stay on you know really? not that we want to encourage that of course we need great teachers as well yeah. but it, I think people are surprised when they get in what a great career option it is you make really great money and the flexibility you have we have plenty of great corporate eight to five jobs but if if you want to have more flexibility and work more at night or work in the afternoon mm -hmm. we're a 24 7 business um, so there's something for you and you can manage your family life a little bit better sometimes when you have that amount of flexibility of when you can work right um, so that's really helpful. Um, but I think people are not only um, surprised when they get in to find out how much money they make, but how much fun it is. Mm -hmm. We are truly having a great time. We have 15 million visitors coming to the city every year, right. and they have chosen Nashville for their annual vacation, and they're here they're to have a moods. great time. They're, in, they're in great moods, and no matter what you're doing, whether you're the finance guy in the back of the house making it all work, mm -hmm. or if you're the frontline server, your job is to make that visitor's day better. If you've got that in your heart, like you just have, a, you're the kind of personality that wants to help people, mm -hmm. you're going to do great in this yeah, industry. If you'd like to I'm with you on that. Now, I was stunned at this number, 68,320 people. 
That's right. Our Nashville's hospitality industry. That's a city unto itself of people. It really is. It's the second largest industry in Nashville and in the state of Tennessee. All right, 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 I, mean, I should think. What's what's first? Healthcare. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I should have known that. I should. I knew it was going to be an obvious one. Healthcare, but second largest is obvious. Service right. industry. I would imagine that's true in most cities. It's right there near the top. Well, absolutely. And again, you think about the hotels and the restaurants are attractions. There are, of course, yeah. our front doors there. Right. But you think about. We have Musicians Hall of Fame there. They're into event planning. We have, um, you know, the Nashville Airport. You think about all the different jobs that we have there, and they are grown by leaps and bounds, not only with their expansion, but there are more um, airlines coming in all mm -hmm. the time, more routes to fill. So there's um, logistics, tour operators, guides. I mean, the, the the list just goes on and on about the types of jobs that we have. Okay, so let's just talk. Uh, we just have a few minutes left about what some 25 employers have registered to attend. Uh, talk about mm -hmm. when this is and where. And Absolutely, yeah. and that number has even risen from when we gave I you bet that it sheet. Is. Yeah, it's close to about 40 different oh, employers really? now. Good. All all over the map of the what kinds of jobs. It is 1030 to 330 at Opry Mills. We're very proud to partner with them, oh. with Freeman, um, and also with News Channel 5 to help us get the word out Certainly, about this. Certainly, yeah, we're glad to promote this. We're yeah. help people get jobs. So March 20th, all right? March, March 20th, 20th, this Wednesday, that's yep. right. Um, if you're familiar with the mall, it's that big area down oh, yeah. in front of the movie theater. Where the theater is, yeah. If you're not, we'll have people at every entrance guiding you along the way. I would recommend that people come ready to be hired. Is We've it going to be, several. are you going to be set up in that court area in front of the movie theater, that's exactly yeah, it's a wide right. open. There's plenty of right outside the um, the arcade there. That's exactly yeah. right. And mm. and so it'll, all of them will be in there, and you can walk around. Walk around and talk to everybody. And when our past, if our past um, fares are any indication, we have lots of people hired on the spot. That's what people have said. So bring you know dress for success, obviously, and uh, bring your resume, right. and I guess, and uh, yep. and expect that maybe at that point you'll you'll have an interview on the spot that could lead to a job. Thank you, Brian. We've had people hired on the spot, ready to go that next week. So be prepared for that. <laughs> I think that's awesome. And again, like you said, I mean, if people are looking either for a job because you don't have one right now, or you're thinking of maybe a cha change, or you're looking for something even part-time right. maybe. Oh, right. right. If you want to make some extra cash and you're looking for something part-time, you might, if you work days, and yes. you think, well, I can work three days a week at night to make a little extra money, um, do you think something like that would be available? Oh, absolutely. These, like I said, we have a lot of employers that offer that traditional experience and a lot that are looking to fill in with part-time and seasonal help. Okay. So whatever you have to offer, Offer, there's probably something for you and right now a lot of our um, employers that are looking for the seasonal help think about um, you know some of the attractions Nashville mm -hmm. Shores those type mm -hmm. they're looking to staff up now okay right um, so if, if that's something for you um, that you want to think about there's going to be an opportunity for you I just can't tell you how refreshing it is to, and it's been this way now for several years but especially now it's really booming I remember back 2007 2008 oh, where absolutely. folks were losing jobs and couldn't find a job anywhere you're going everywhere to hire no one's hiring you know the economy was in bad shape mm -hmm. and, and, and I felt so bad there are people looking for work in camp anyone who wants to work should be able to find a job in America. That's Period. That's End of exactly story. Right. And there was a time it wasn't. And it's so refreshing and nice when you see good jobs in a great city like Nashville available if you're looking for one or if you're looking to make a change. That's you know? exactly right. I just right. think it's awesome. Uh, every time we have job fairs, I'm just, it, it's, a, it's a sure sign. Now, I know it's tough sometimes for the employers because some of them, they get really good ones. And, and, I, and you'll find, like, I was at a restaurant the other day and service was slow. And it was one I usually go to. And I was like, well, what's the, you know, well, some of these, Unfortunately, yep. they just don't show up because they know they can do anything. They just say, uh, I'm not coming in today. What are you going to do? What are you I'll find a job do? tomorrow if you want to fire me. And that's the kind <laughs> of stunts, and that's a classless move and not professional, but it happens. Right. Because right now the employees are holding the cards in terms of seeking this out, and that's right. why they were slow that day. Um, be a good employee because it'll serve you well down the road that's anyway. That's exactly right. Well, Can't agree more. Awesome. Listen, thank you for coming thank on. Thank you. We'll make I appreciate sure it. Channel 5 is proud to be you know, a co sponsor on this to get the word out. March 20th, that's Wednesday, right? That's correct. 10.30 to 3.30 over at Opry Mills, right there in the courtyard area, indoors, outside of the uh, movie theater, though, um, as you go in there right. where the, the big Cineplex is. So, Awesome. Thank Let's get you. some people to work, huh? That sounds great. We'd <laughs> nice love to have, have you. you. All Thank right. you. We'll take a break. I'll be back to wrap things up right after this. Thanks, Dan.